Magina here and I'm back yay it's been a couple weeks now and I'm back with my Paradise Galleries dolls pumpkin spice which I named her Juliana and her big brother Noah James and this is the I think the second time that he's been on camera besides his box opening and so I'm glad to be back and be putting them in these outfits. This is for Juliana. It's just a cute little um, outfit with a jacket and a hoodie. And it's pink and multicolors for the jacket. And then it says happy, amazing, and brilliant. And that seems to fit her because she is very happy. And amazing. And brilliant. I'm sure she'd be brilliant if she was real. And and then for Noah I found this cute little outfit here this is a onesie and it says ready for adventure sounds like a little boy and it has matching blue pants they look like they might be a little long but we'll have to see about that so let's change little Miss Juliana first yeah girls first <laughs> There we are. Well, I'm very happy to be back in making a video again and saying hello to everyone. And thank you for all your lovely comments on my videos. I really appreciate it. It's just lots of fun sharing our babies with each other. And in my last video, I said I would be gone for a little bit because I was getting married. And I did on April 6th, and everything went just so smooth. It was perfect weather, which is the first thing I was worried about in Arizona. And the desert can be quite windy, but it wasn't windy. There was a slight breeze, and we had it outside at a gazebo that was um, near a golf course and a resort hotel and so it was really pretty and it wasn't too hot which is the other thing I was worried about it was just right and I think that was our last really good weekend because now it's getting warm so everyone everyone said it was perfect and they everyone had a good time it was very small um, just about 15 people and my husband set up a GoPro camera and so we have a video and it also is a spherical camera so you can move it around and it shows all the angles so that was really nice um, and let's see oh we had the reception at our house and the weather was nice so we I had completely emptied out the garage and decorated it real nice and we have some shades that you can pull down when um, the garage door is open and so we could have privacy and but you have the breeze and so it was really nice and um, we had a catered meal from a Mexican restaurant and they made a huge, long, I don't know how long it was, but a huge, long burrito. And half of it was beef, the other half was chicken. And they served um, chips and salsa and beans and rice. So it was great. And we had plenty of food and the cake was tiramisu because I love tiramisu. It wasn't the Italian style where they use the lady fingers, but it was a layered tiramisu cake. And that's our favorite cake, so we decided to go with that because it's so delicious and creamy and rich, but it doesn't taste super sweet. So you don't have that, that sick sweet taste like with a lot of cakes. So, 
and then the topper oh, I should have brought it to show you I'll have to show you next time hey your hair is stuck here for the cake topper um, John had bought me this beautiful crystal thing with I don't know what you call it but it has swans on it and it has a heart in the middle of the swans and on the back of it it's glass and it says you are the love of my life so that was I wanted that to be the cake topper I didn't I didn't really want the traditional bride and groom you know everybody does that and that was really special to me that he bought that so that turned out good and yeah we just had a great time and uh, everybody took pictures on their phones and then we have a digital camera and my niece took some pictures on that one and then uh, a friend that's actually a customer from the health food store where I work um, he also has a really really professional camera and because he does um, scenery and animals he he travels during the summer and he takes these beautiful photographs and then he has them put on a website that he's working on and then he also um, can have them like if people want to buy one they can put it on canvas or metal or um, it's just really like super crisp photos that he takes so we got some of those back and they they are really good so um, my husband is going to put some at the end of a video and uh, I it'll probably be this video right here uh, but I'm not sure and he also wrote a song because he plays the guitar so he composed a little tune a new one for my intro and he's probably going to put it at the end with the photos this time and then the next time it'll be my intro because I have Noah here he's a new baby and then I have a surprise baby from Paradise Galleries um, that's more of a display baby and uh, so I have to make a new intro take new pictures and stuff like that so that'll be fun oh look at that that is so cute. Does this match? This didn't come with that outfit, but it really, it really matches, huh? Do you need some socks? Here we go. We'll put on some little pink socks. Look at her little feet are so cute. They're just so cute. So I had so much wedding stuff. I had to clean off my hobby table and that's where I was doing my reborning so today I'm in the process of moving wedding things and putting them away and we got a lot of nice picture frames that people gave us and those are all on that table so I have to move those and get the reborning supplies set up again and I should show you probably next time I'm on my next video I'll show you how far I've gotten so far I'm up to the mottling uh, but I actually have to make the sponges for that so I'm still doing that course here we go look at that there she is it's a little windy today that'll keep the wind off <laughs> here let's put you up close so everybody can see you look at that hi Hi, say hi. <laughs> oh, she's so cute in that. She's cute and pink. Yeah. Now it's your brother's turn. Yeah. Let's see, we gotta move you over here for a minute. Can you sit there for mama? And then we gotta put Noah over here. I've left him in this outfit for a long time because it's so cute. Sometimes you just don't want to take an outfit off of a baby because they're just so cute. Okay, now, don't fall. Okay, you're going to fall. Okay. Okay, okay, it's hard having twins. 
It's hard having two babies. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can get this off without taking your arm off, too. I don't remember how I got that on. Let's just sit you up for a minute, because you're a big boy. He takes zero to three month clothes, so it's kind of fun having a little bit bigger doll. Oh, and Paradise Galleries, they're really stepping up their game. They've got new dolls all the time. And uh, there's this one doll that I would really like to have. She's the new blonde baby. And she's open-eyed, and she, ha she has a little tongue, her little tongue. Her mouth is open. You can see her little tongue. She looks like she's talking. And I thought the blonde hair was really pretty, because sometimes the blonde hair on dolls uh, can look yellow. But... I think it looks good and I thought it would be really cute to have her because she's kind of big like him so I'm getting points from Paradise Gallery so that's always tempting to to do but I know I have to be careful about how many I get because of space, and then if I'm making reborns, then, you know, I don't want to put too much more into these dolls, but they're fun, and they're just a lot easier to get. <laughs> so, okay, let's see. Did I unsnap you yet? Nope, not yet. Let's sit you up so people can see you. Yeah, except for my arm, to see Mama's arm in the camera. I know I was getting ready to make the video and I saw I have a boo-boo over there. It's like every time I want to go on camera, I've always hurt myself. <laughs> I've always had boo-boos. <laughs> but I hope everybody's doing good. And I hope there's good weather wherever you are. Yeah, my husband was a long-haul truck driver for 26 years, and this last winter was the worst winter he had ever been through. He lost a lot of time because of winter storms. So, But now he has a local job, and so he doesn't have to do that anymore. So we're real happy about that. And you know, my other kitty, uh, Charlie, he loves him, so he likes having attention from both of us, so that's good. What is that? Oh, that's a little string. Let me see if I can get it off. Hmm. Nope, I'll have to stick it in there. I don't want to rip it, so I'll cut it off later. Yeah. And I'll show you the bouquet that I had. I did really good because I had ordered a dress from David's Bridal and they waited until the last minute to send me an email. I was looking for the dress thinking it was supposed to be here by now. And they waited till the last minute to email me and say, oh, we're sorry but we've canceled your order. The dress isn't available. And it was really pretty. It was kind of a uh, princess style dress and oh, and a really good price. And so it, when I ordered it, it said it was in stock, ready to ship. So because I live in a small town and there's no bridal shops here, except maybe like really small, expensive one. I think there is maybe one. Um, I tried ordering a dress through Amazon, and it came, but it was too tight. <laughs> so I thought, I don't know if I want to go through this again. So I went to Ross, 
which has name brands for less. It's kind of like an outlet. If you um, don't have one where you're at, that's what it is. And they had a dress that was perfect. I did have to have it hemmed up because I'm a little short and it was a little bit too long. And then it was also strapless, so I had the lady put um, straps on it. Well, when I tried it on for my sister, she said, no, the straps are too tight and it's taking the dress up too much. So I went to Hobby Lobby and I found some ribbon that I actually liked better because it matched the, the bling on the front of the dress. And so I just did that myself and it worked out good. It's really pretty. Of course, then you gotta worry about shoes. I hadn't found the shoes yet. I'm like, oh my goodness. So I thought I'm gonna hit all of the outlet stores first. So the very first one that I went into, which is called Bells, and they had some shoes on clearance actually that matched the dress perfectly. So I was so pleased, I can believe it. Couldn't believe I found all that. And and the bouquet, I had been looking online and then my sister's boss uh, is good at doing stuff like that and so she had told my sister you know, when she figures out what she wants, have her let me know and I can make something for her. Well, I was at Hobby Lobby in the wedding section and they had one already made and it was just what I had been looking for. <laughs> so that was taken care of too. And then the veil I ordered from Amazon and it had little jewels in it just very tiny ones and not a lot very subtle but it matched the dress the first one I bought though was white and it was too white so it really didn't match the dress so I had to send for another one and so I chose the ivory one and that one worked out perfect it totally matched the dress so that was good oh look at look at you baby Noah, you're so cute. I'm going to sit you down here. There we go. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, the pants are a little bit long. So they're a little bunched up here. But I think that's okay. That's pretty cute. Yeah, and then I just have to fix your hair a little bit. With these dolls, I don't brush their hair very much. I, I do a little bit. Uh, but mostly I just do this because these dolls have wigs. Although one of their new dolls, it's a sleeping doll and it has, uh, I think it has rooted hair or hand applied. No, but I think it's rooted. So um, that's kind of neat. They're, like I said, they're really coming out with some cute dolls. And, whereas good old Ashton Drake, I haven't seen any new dolls as well as those dolls I told you about um, the little um, mini silicone ones the twins I it says they're coming in June but they're not in the latest catalog so I really don't believe them <laughs> but here's they are here's a brother and sister Aww, they look really cute really really cute yeah <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, let me show you the bouquet before I go. Here it is right here. And it's got pink and ivory, and there's a pink and ivory rose. And then it has the Dusty Miller silvery looking plants. And ribbon around here. I was going to do something different here, but I ended up just using it like that. But it was a perfect size and, and the colors were right and everything. And then I I carried this uh, vintage 
bag here. Um, I actually ended up having my sister hold it, but I put my glasses in there because I wear glasses and some Kleenex and uh, and this little rock that my boss gave me. It says Mr. and Mrs. And so I carried that inside. <laughs> and uh, so I thought that was cute. They worked out really good. And that's about it for now. But... I appreciate you watching and sorry this video is a little bit longer but I haven't changed babies in, in a while and I wanted to change both of them at the same time for brother and sister day. <laughs> so hopefully we'll have some photos at the end of this video. If not, it'll be the next one. And then the new intro with my husband's guitar will be coming soon. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. I love you all. See you soon. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.